Kia ora. welcome to the Eye in the Sky show podcast. So this is another quick little video that I want to talk about the murder of Missy Bevis. Um, I have been stumbling upon her case through watching um, the Mr. Ballin videos and, you know, other videos where I'm, um, you know, investigating uh, for Eye in the Sky show shows when my boys and I are, you know, out on the road um, talking about podcasts. Um, subject matters and all that sort of thing and she keeps coming up over and over and over again and so I decided to just have a quick look at a couple of videos in regards to her um, murder investigation and I'm telling you now I don't know who killed her but I gotta throw my hat into the ring about my thoughts on the situation but I'm, I'm telling you now the person that killed her was a woman um, and, the, you know, they keep saying, um, talking about the tactical gear. I think she wore the tactical gear for two reasons. One, to hide the fact that she's got a large chest. If you look at the stills of the photographs that I've put up, you know, for the screenshot for this video and that, I swear to God, you can see, um, like, a, her skin, it looks too soft and smooth for a man's. Um, when because you, you can see a bit of her neck and chest area and it's too soft and smooth to be a man's and you can see what looks like breasts she's she's a large woman with um, like small small skinny short legs and a large upper body and I don't know why I keep seeing blonde curly she's either got <laughs> blonde curly hair or you know blonde um, wavy hair I, I don't know what like maybe it's blonde now she might not be a natural blonde it might have been blonde back then but I also think the reason why she wore the tactical gear is because with um, Missy being a fitness instructor um, she would have been able to protect herself and she wanted to make sure that she didn't leave any um, bruises or scratches or marks on her body so that should she be questioned by police after the investigation was underway, she wouldn't have any visible marks on her body. She did it to protect herself because she knew that Missy would put up a fight and with her being a physical fitness instructor, she would be strong enough to do it. Um, the reason why I think that she went, she gave injuries to her um, face and head area was it's just it, just pure jealousy. Usually, when you go after someone's face, it's because you're jealous of the way they look. You know, there's like a, a jealousy envy issue there. Missy was being um, harassed by somebody, you know, with a fake account and that, and I think this woman was trying to lure her into a trap. Remember I keep talking about Taleb, Black Swan? This is a prime example. This is a perfect example of what Black Swan is, Operation Black Swan, Operation Taleb. This is exactly what this is. And she, I think she was luring um, Missy to try and get information on her. Maybe she was secretly in love with her or she was so jealous of her and hated her so much that she wanted to try and, and set her up for some sort of public humiliation or for some great fall. But when Missy wasn't falling for it, she just decided to out and out get her. Now, I want to talk about the injury Maybe the injury had something to do with, um, was she trying to, like if I was the police, I would look at all the large women, either who go to the church or the school or on her social media, um, on her LinkedIn, I would investigate all the large short women, especially if they were, I don't know why I keep thinking blonde, like then or now, I don't know, but especially if they've got large chests um, who know her. Um, and knew her at the time, who either were associated with school, who are um, personal trainer, physical fitness business, who social media and um, the church, uh, and I would look at all of them um, and go from there, basically, um, especially any that had injuries at the time, maybe she sustained an injury while she was trying to lose weight or get fit, or something like that. But if I was the police, I would be I would be re-looking at all the women in her life, whether she knew them well or not. But I, this woman knew her enough that she wanted her gone. And um, going after her face, 
attacking her face. Um, I think, you know, going after her chest was basically to put an end to the fight because she knew that if she didn't overpower such a strong, physically fit woman, you know, chances were she wasn't um, going to pull off what she set out to do. Um, watching her every move because she was within close parameters of this woman. She was somebody that Missy knew enough that she was not uncomfortable sharing, you know, what her plan was for that day. You know, um, this person knew her enough that she knew where she was going to be at that time and, you know, sat and waited for her. So she's somebody that, that knew her schedule and knew her life enough um, and then, you know, by incapacitating her, you know, in the chest and that, getting it over and done with, but going after her face, it was personal. Um, it was it was a pure jealousy thing, and I think she was trying to set Missy up for something, male for, maybe for blackmail or to humiliate her or something like that, because, you know, I keep talking about, God told me to talk about Taleb and the black swan, and this is a perfect example of that, and if I was the police, I would be looking at all the women that were in her life at that time who are short and large with big breasts, you can see her breasts through that chance, through the through that vest, I'm telling you now. And that's one of the reasons why she wore it, because her large breast, her large upper body, and who, you know, it would have given it away. And I think so she wore that for two reasons, to cover her feminine large chested frame and um, to protect herself because she knew that Missy would put up a fight and she didn't want to have to um, explain where she got cuts and bruises from should she um, be questioned by police later on, which also gives the impression that she was expecting at some point when this was over, the police would question her. So she has to be somebody that the police would question knowing that she was connected to Missy because obviously they're going to question everybody she knew. Um, and so I think this woman anticipated that at some point she'd be questioned by police and to protect herself from having to um, explain where cuts and bruises and stuff came from, she wore the body armour. And I'm just throwing that out there. I might be wrong, but I'm just saying, you know, food for thought. I'll put links in the description box below so you know who I'm talking about. But I'm telling you now... Committing murder in a church? Ooh, I wouldn't want to be that woman to have to pay off that karma in the afterlife. I'm telling you now, that's ooh, that's that's like is that ooh, that's the sort of karma that's going to take a long time to pay off. That's like sacred ground. That's sacrosanct. That's yeah, I wouldn't want to be her. Whether she gets caught in this life or has to deal with God in the afterlife, God's only going to deal with her once and then you know exactly where she's going once he passes judgment. That's all I've got to say.